Hey guys, Bobby from Nitro RCX here, and today we're going to talk about the Thunder AC6 charger. This is an awesome multifunction charger, comes with a lot of features, uh, especially for the price you pay for it. Uh, you can charge lithium polymer batteries, lithium ion, lithium phosphate, uh, up to six cells. Uh, you can charge nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmiums up to 15 cells. It'll charge up to five amps maximum. Um, also comes with a built-in AC-DC charger or adapter so you can charge it from your wall or charge it from a 12 volt source like your car battery. Now let's take a, t take a look inside it and see what you get. First thing you'll notice is a lithium polymer battery warning sheet. Definitely pay attention to the sheet, read through it, uh, familiarize yourself with lithium polymer batteries. It can get a bit dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. We'll also show you a couple of steps on how to charge lithium, pa battery <coughs> lithium polymer batteries in a moment. Um, you also have an operating manual, lots of features in this charger, so definitely read through this. You also have a software CD, install that on to your computer and you can see a couple of features. USB cable, your power cord, lots of adapters here. Um, you got your glow plug adapter, banana plug, Tamiya connector alligator clips, even JST connector, um, more alligator clips, more cables, temp sensor, you can set a temperature cutoff threshold so if it reaches a certain temperature it'll cut it off, stop charging, safety feature built in, and also the LiPo battery balance adapter board. And then you have your charger, it's a really awesome looking charger. It's all in uh, aluminum, so it stays cool. Take a look at it. And uh, also has a blue lit LCD screen. Big buttons so you can read it easily. And uh, we'll show you how to charge a lithium polymer battery. All right guys, we have the Thunder AC6 multifunction charger plugged up. Uh, now we're gonna show you how to charge some batteries. I have here a 14.8 volt. 4 cell lithium polymer battery. It's got 2200 milliamp hours on it. First thing I like to do is press the red button, get out of the menus to the main screen, which is program select, and uh, you want to select LiPo Bat. Make sure if you're charging a LiPo battery, you select LiPo Bat. Um, I'm going to grab my balance board, I'm going to plug it up. And this battery has a banana connector, so I'm going to grab the connector with the banana connector. And I'm going to plug red to red, black to black on the charger. Then I'm going to grab that battery and I'm going to plug it up. Make sure you plug all the connections up on the battery, so that would be the main red and black connectors. And then you want to plug up the balance board or the balance plug to the balance board. It's a four cell battery so it's got five holes. Plug it up right there. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. Set that aside. Moving back over to the charger. We're going to press the green button once to enter a LiPo bat. Now you'll see it says LiPo charge. For lithium polymer batteries greater than one cell you want to balance charge it, so press the right arrow key, get to LiPo balance, press the green button once, now the amperage will be flashing. Uh, we generally like to charge no greater than a 1C rate, so to get that rate, you figure out how many milliamp hours your battery is, this one's a 2200, so we're just going to move the decimal places over three times, make that 2.2, uh, you move the right and left arrow keys to get it to 2.2, press the green button once, uh, you'll see the voltage flashing. This is a 4 cell battery, it's 14.8 volts so you want to push the arrow key until you get to 14.8, it'll say 4S for 4 cell, Then you want to hold the green button down to start the charge. It's going to check what it detects and what you entered. It'll say 4 cell user and 4 cell detection. 
It's going to ask you to confirm or cancel, which is the red button. Press the green button to confirm, and it's starting to charge. In the balance feature, you can press the right arrow key, and it'll show you uh, the voltage on each individual cell. You can actually watch it balancing each cell. So leave it there, let it charge. It'll beep at you once it stops charging, and it'll say uh, full charge.